So I'm here to talk to you about the changes from the year 1000 to 1500, which is 500 years. Um, but the reason that 500 years have all been lumped together in one chapter in the textbook is actually because not a great deal did change in that period. It'd be wrong to say nothing changed though, but we need to focus in on the bits that did change. So if a crime took place, a hue and, the hue and cry was still a thing. And local communities, in the absence of a police force, were still the, one of the main ways of policing things. But there were some additions. Way back in 1000, there were people called sheriffs. They existed. They were in charge of sort of larger areas. Shires, in fact, because the word sheriff comes from shire, reeve. So more often than not, you wouldn't come into contact with the sheriff unless the crime was very serious or against somebody very important. By the late 1500s, the sheriff was in very similar a position. But there was a new person who'd been introduced. Somebody in each local community would volunteer for a year, unpaid, to be the parish constable. And the parish constable um, had to keep an eye out for any crime that was happening and to lead the hue and cry when it started. So it was sort of the person in the local area who would be in charge of the local community policing. Now, also addition, so a sheriff is something that was always there, but a parish constable was a new thing. Also a new thing was the coroner. A coroner would be called to record uh, a death. They would have to inform, uh, they would investigate any suspicious deaths, if you like, um, or any deaths full stop, but they would take particular interest in deaths like murder. So the coroner would say, record in detail, would say unnatural deaths. That would be the best way to put it. Um, so the chain of command, a crime takes place, hue and cry goes up, parish constable goes running. The parish constable would then contact the coroner, if there was a murder, if there was an unnatural death, to make a record of of that unnatural death in the parish records and the sheriff who would be um, in the local vicinity would have to travel to the area um, to, to deal with the crime but if the crime was really serious the sheriff would be straight there anyway that's the chain of command constable coroner sheriff you know sheriff is the most important in that little chain but there is a another introduction which we'll do in more detail next lesson and that is you could actually get away with crime so you could murder 10 people and torture them first and burn down the houses and steal all of their things. But there is a way, a loophole if you like, to get around being executed. Not to get around being punished full stop, but to get around the worst punishment of being executed. And that was to make it to a church which offered sanctuary. Now, if you made it, if you were being chased, you and cry, the sheriff's after you, the constable's after you, they're all after you. But if you make it to a church that offers sanctuary, then you could stay in that church and nobody could get you for 40 days. 40 days was your limit. So just over a month, month and a, a third, month and a quarter, you could stay in a church, you could live there, they would, you know, they would keep you there. And then after those 40 days, you had a choice. You could stand trial in the church courts. And the church courts never gave the death sentence. So you could, after 40 days, stand trial in the church courts. They could give you other punishments, corporal punishment, you know, fine, whatever it was. But they would not have you executed. Or you could go out of the country. You could leave the country and not face justice at all, just leave and be in exile, go to another country. So yeah, th there was a loophole. So I guess that is kind of escaping punishment full stop by just leaving the country instead of standing trial. But that in itself is kind of a punishment. So there's something uh, that's a little bit new. Uh, there's some other bits that are new as well, um, but we'll, we'll look at a little bit more of that in detail another time. One of those, of course, being the royal court so there was a royal court for the very very serious crimes anyway that's that's been five minutes of me i think that'll do 